Every year, nearly 100 people drown in Ireland. At sea, in rivers and lakes, in swimming pools, on farms. Some even drown in the bath. You can be one of these, or one of these. something about him. It's not fair. He gets his way the whole time. Don't train in baths. Oh my god, he's alright. He's alright. Give us a blanket there, love, really quick. Thanks. Gary. Lambs have been over anyway. It's alright, love. It'll be alright. It's alright. It's alright. Okay now, lovey, you're going to be all right, okay? Okay, lovey. Mummy's here. Mummy, you're all right. Good boy, okay. Good boy, you're fine now, okay? You just got a bad fright, all right? You're just fine now. All right, all right, lovey. It's only when an accident happens that we realise we could have prevented it. But by then, it's too late.
Every year, nearly 100 people drown in Ireland. David, Sean, time for milking. Just a few more minutes, Daddy. Kevin and Tara are going home tonight. All right, but no more than five minutes. Come on, I'll race you for it. This way! Where do you think you're going, Kevin? To get the ball. There. How would you get the ball, David? Well, I'm going to get the ball. Sean, would you show your cousins what a slurry pit is? All right. Back in a minute. That might look like solid ground, but it's as deadly as quicksand. Watch this. Would you look at that? When the cows go to the toilet, all the waste is flushed down here. The top looks solid, but it's not. So, how do we get the ball then? That's a job for an adult. You should never go near a slurry pit. Always ask an adult to help you. Almost 100 people die each year through accidental drowning in ponds, rain barrels, cattle troughs, open drains, or through the floor of an animal house because slats were taken out. Bogs are also very dangerous. Do you know what? I always thought I'd be safe down the country. Ah, come on, let's help out with the milk. No problem. Let me have it. On farms. Some even drown in the bath. You can be one of these. Or one of these. Too safe for me. I'll go in and get it. It's a big dip as you walk out. Nah, it's only shallow. It's only up to me knees. Get away! 
Here, get that coat, will you, and put it around him. You all right? What happened to you? You realise it was a bit of a silly place to go for a bit of a swim, wasn't it? No. There you are, you're all right, Cat's it, you're growing. Is his mother around, you know, are you on your own? Um, no, we were just playing football and we saw the raft and he was going over for him. He just slipped. And... That wasn't a very clever thing to do, was it? No. No, you're all right now. Here, stand there. Will you go and uh, see if you can phone somebody and get yeah, somebody to come down here? All right, good lad. Will you come back to me? Yeah. That's it, you're okay. That's it, you're all right. Before you try to rescue someone, make sure you are safe. Go for help. Talk to the person in the water. Reach out to them. Throw something that floats, but be careful. You might only have one chance. Wade out, but check the depth. Don't get too close. They might grab at you. Pull them in steadily. Remember the code. Reach, throw, wade, go. hundred people one of these we'll be back at five there's rain forecast it's just a shower we'll be fine I go too. Not this time, Michael. There's no oh. room. Oh, please. Next time, just the two of us. Okay. We'll go for a walk around the lake and watch Sadie fishing. Okay. Bye. 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 I must have just been here overnight. It hasn't been used for ages. There's rainwater and everything in it. Let's take it out. But it must belong to someone. Nobody would know me to have it back before tea. I suppose it's not an end rate, but there's only one off. We can use my holy stick. We'd have to bail the water out first. I saw a can back there. I'll go get it. Well, we'll be here all day if you don't hurry up. Who well, lets you go faster? All right, Davy. <laughs> Nicola! Nicola! Come on, Benny, are you alright? 
I don't know, there's a, there's a boat over, overturned on the lake and I don't know what to do. Okay, can you hold on a moment? Hello, Garden Sheet Connor. H- hello, um, I, I just want to say there's a boat overturned on the lake and there are children in the water. Now, calm down, where has this happened? Um, at Blessington Lakes. Now, how many people are involved? I, I don't know, uh, there's three or maybe four children. They should never go out in boats without life jackets. Oh, well, at least they did one thing right. They stayed by the boat. All right, so they stayed by the boat. But what else should they have done? Well, to start with, if you're not used to boats, you need someone who knows what they are doing. That boat wasn't fit to be taken out on water. They didn't even have life jackets. It's stupid to get into a boat without one. They didn't tell anyone they were going out. Take it out and have it back before tea and nobody would know. Or when to expect them back. We'll be back at five. There's rain forecast. It's just the shower will be fine. The weather didn't even enter their heads. So, one out of six right. This time they were lucky. How many people win the lottery twice? one of these or one of these The bridge. Bet you can. How much? Fifty pence. Bet you six pence. Bet the two you sixty pence that'll be yes. All right, come on, you're on. No, wait, 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 wait. You have to do this proper. Let's make a stand. When I say go, you have to go. All right. Okay. Okay. And your marks. Get set. Go. Oh my 
God, you pushed her in! I didn't, she must have fallen. Nicholas! Nicholas! Funny to vandalize, damage, or steal life belts. Mark and David don't. Each year, 300 life belts are vandalized in the Dublin area alone. If there had been a life belt to save Nicola, would you have known what to do? Okay, Denise. Now we're going to throw the life belt. You're going to put your foot on the end of the rope, take the life belt in one hand and the rope in the other, and you're going to throw underneath so you get behind Jerome. Okay? I'm going to show you now. Now, Jerome, grab the life belt. Come on, Jerome, grab the belt. Good girl. Now kick your leg, Jerome. Good girl. Good girl. And lastly, don't forget to put the life belt back. It might save your life someday. in rivers and lakes, in swimming pools, on farms. Some even drown in the bath. You can be one of these, or one of these. We're here on this deserted sandy beach to witness one of the strangest phenomena known in the animal kingdom. There is a creature unique to this warm, sandy mountain, which, through its own strange and bizarre behavior, is endangering its very existence. By getting a bit closer, perhaps we can gain some insight into their curious conduct. We're trying to get some water from the boat. Oh yeah, good idea. Wait a minute. Mom, look at that red flag over there. Aren't you looking at the big old turtle? Disaster stalks the area. You know, I think I'll have a siesta. Daddy, wait for me!
strange creatures to our laboratory in an attempt to save them from virtual extinction. We've been training them in simple procedures which we hope will enable the species to survive. Wonderful. They now know how to read the local signs. They know they should wait for at least an hour after eating before entering the water. I'm going for a swim. Are you coming, Cass? Yeah. Okay, okay you yeah. come on, Green. Yeah, look, come on. Man, can you take the Lila into the water? Not if you go in the water, love. The Lila's only for the beach. Not if you've got there. Wait for me now. I'll keep an eye on you. I'll be down in a minute. I'll follow you, Stan. They now, in fact, appear quite capable of conducting themselves safely in this environment. You can that! Oh, son, I'm going to wait here and keep an eye on you. They realize the dangers of swimming out to sea and of staying too long in the water. I believe this family group now has a real chance of survival in this pleasant but potentially hazardous habitat 